the, the way by watching and by learning um, even with language barriers that we had. Um, so the, when I came back, um, I was growing food on my rooftop. I didn't have much space. I had a lot of shady space, so I had food on my rooftop. And when I came back, um, eggplants and tomatoes were the thing that I cooked. Um, that was a, a, a recipe that I cooked. And so this was grown by the men and when um, the men inside San Quentin and they, the police, the, the prison has rules where the men can't eat the food that they grow. We only grow in four raised beds. We can't, we don't grow enough for the whole prison population, so they can't have unequal access to food. It's a way to keep them down. But of course, when they're in there, they're eating it. They've got pockets. They were growing herbs that are helping them when they're sick. Um, they're eating the cherry tomatoes. We're making sure we're growing things that they can pop in their mouths and put in their pockets that, um, and, and you know, don't. Maybe I should have said that on camera. No. <laughs> Maybe why don't you just edit? When we're bringing this produce home, we're, we're making boxes like that you see happening right behind you and giving it to the guys who have returned home and are on our, our teams and to their families. So they used to be in the program, they used to be growing the food, and now they're, they've are they returned home to their families, they've got a nice, well-paying job, and they're getting um, produce from the men inside the program who um, are really happy to be co connecting it full circle. Um, and so it's, and we're also donating it to other um, nonprofits and food service providers. Uh, I have a question to ask you. 